All right, we're going to call this meeting to order. Let's start that from the show. All right, uh, Mr. Rogers, would you mind playing pray for us? Absolutely. Let us pray. Lord, our gracious Heavenly Father, we come to you during the season of Thanksgiving and Christmas, Father, but we most definitely thank you for your Son who's died for us. Father, we thank you for being able to assemble here tonight and be about the people's business of the county. Father, we ask that we put every agenda aside and conduct the business the way you would conduct it. Father, we just ask that you bless each and every person gathered here tonight. Bless them on their way home with safe travels. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right, I have a motion for approval of the agenda. So moved. So moved by Mr. Rogers, second by Mr. Brown. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, motion passes. Report to the chairman, none. Report to the county mayor, none. New business. So the purpose, um, the reason I called this meeting last Tuesday, actually, uh, obviously it takes a little while to get the process going, um, was just some discussion and clarification on actions that we took last Monday night in legislative on the, specifically the Cottontown Community Center property. Um, you know, unfortunately, when the ad hoc meeting was disrupted and not able to meet, when the members got accused of violating sunshine laws and holding a legal meeting and it's unethical, it shut the meeting down. And it's unfortunate that happened because what it did, it, it basically was subversive of good order. And it was subversive of the intent of that meeting to basically hear what the cotton towners had to say in order to know what they were going to be proposing to us during legislative. We didn't get to hear that. So had we gotten that, that meeting gotten to occur, it might have saved us from where we're at right now and what I'm going to be proposing we're doing just because uh, we weren't able to get information ahead of time, which was kind of the goal coming into legislative. And so I think there were some, some problems or questions, and I did not know this until the day after, so I, my apologies, and, and I'll take full responsibility for this, of the 501c4 being in question of the, the opportunity for political <coughs> campaigning through that. And so I think that makes a lot of people uncomfortable. It, does, it did me, and there's a lot of questions or, or people have problems with that. And so um, I, did, I am not comfortable moving forward with that. And so I, I, what I wanted to do is call for this meeting for us to basically uh, move this discussion back to January and go back to legislative um, to relook at everything and to reevaluate uh, what the ask is, again, to um, uh, clarify some more things and um, uh, make sure that uh, there's not going to be any issues here because of what our goal is of truly putting the bumpers on and really limiting a future commission of using these properties as an impetus for stealing private property for greenways and, and bring in under the guise of development you know as an amenity and so we're, we're trying to stop these ty types of abuses of process and abuses of government so that's pretty much why I called this meeting is so that we can uh, remove that from the agenda from the full commission tonight and move that to January and to clarify some of the things that really weren't clarified last week or during the ad hoc. Um, so I don't know if there's any, so I'm going to make a motion that we um, remove that item from the agenda tonight from the full commission and refer that back to legislative for January. So that's my motion. Second. So, second. Second by Commissioner Shove. Any discussion? Is the ad hoc committee supposed to go on and ha have the meeting that we didn't have? Or? No, I, I, at this point, I'm going to make a motion to disband the ad hoc committee and everything goes through legislative. So uh, I'll entertain a second for that. If, if there oh, there's already a, a motion on the floor, so we need okay. to address that motion and then we can. Um, so, um, got a motion, got a second uh, as far as <coughs> moving from the agenda tonight and pu pushing this back to legislative. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, motion carries unanimously. Um, I have a motion to disband the ad hoc and handle all things through this committee. Uh, i got a second with Mr. Brown. Any discussion on that? I just want to note that um, what this is specific to is the property where the community center was demolished. Correct. This does not supersede the directive that we have to the new county attorney the the only thing that was on the agenda for tonight <coughs> was this community center property it, it. everything else was going to come back anyways got so. it it's the only thing so that's all we're disposing of got it so um <coughs> any other questions no questions all right did we take before, before we disband the ad hoc um uh, before we vote on disband again <clears throat> whether or not it passes if we do we have any directives that we need to make public um you know before january um i mean i, I would like to, uh, the <clears throat> town community to look at a 501c3 
and what that looks like um, in the proper documentation and goals and directions under that uh, for this property because it, it originally was a 501c3 Cottontown Community Center Inc. that was given in June of 2019 to the <coughs> county um, and so it, it was given to the county free of charge and um, so the, the ask from the community is that it goes back into the community's hands under a nonprofit or I don't know if what Commissioner Schoff had, had done so that that is all I have <coughs> at this point you know as far as like what, what they can do to present something um, better and more palatable uh, and more satisfactory um, both to the Commission and to the public for this that still achieves the goals of protecting these properties from being used as basically the tip of the spear for, for eminent domain for, for greenways uh, and, and essentially our goal is to bind the future Commission's hands as much as possible to take that out of their hands to be able to even use that. Ours included, yeah. Like Correct. Yeah. So, I do, if, to, if, on that point of discussion, um, and this is, again, I know this is not specific to this motion, but I did want to just note um, that, uh, assuming we have a new uh, county attorney, I had a guest again like to put out for the uh, public here. I see there are members from both the Friends of the Bridal House and the Cottontown uh, Country Community. Um, that, there's, that there is a, an ask out to those, uh, both of those boards to put forward a member um, to reach out to the, uh, the new county attorney, and um, I, I certainly hope those, those groups take advantage of that. All right, any more discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, motion carries to expand ad hoc. Uh, one more thing, just wanted to ask Chairman Hyde, I know there's people here to speak on this as an agenda item tonight, even though we won't be talking about it. <coughs> we'll allow the public to speak. I would like, when we get to the full commission, to suspend our rules, allow the public to speak yeah. towards this if they're here to speak towards we'll it. We'll need to suspend the rules and do that. Yeah. I, I would say to everyone here tonight, though, uh, whatever your feeling is on this issue, it will not be on the agenda. No decision will be made tonight in regard to Cotton Town. You may, if this passes, you may speak if you want to, but the issue is not on the agenda. All right, so we've already voted to move that for January. We voted to expand ad hoc. Any other questions other than that? We have one more motion. Let's make a motion to adjourn. So move. Second. Second. All right. All in favor say aye. Aye. All right. Aye. Aye. They put all those resolutions on your table.